Hello and welcome to another video. The last time I came out to celebrate spring with some wild garlic, a few days later I was pissing on my own tent pegs to get them out at ground, so we're taking this with a pinch of salt, but the sun's shining, spring is definitely in the air, take two. So I've come out to collect some wild garlic and my plan is to make wild garlic scotch eggs. Come on. Here we are. Oh, the smell is lovely. Right, I only really want some of the little, the smaller leaves, and I don't want too many. Depending on the size of your eggs, you want to boil them for about six and a half to seven minutes for a soft centre and around eight minutes to be fully cooked through. Once your time is up, get them in some cold water and that'll stop the cooking process. Fold your wild garlic up into a little ball and then get it shredded. Add the wild garlic to your sausage meat. You can use any sausages, take the skin off and use that, or you can buy sausage meat straight from the shop and it's already seasoned, so just choose which seasonings you'd like. Or you can add stuff to it, chilies, cheese, whatever you want. Get creative. Cut yourself a piece of cling film, put a little bit of oil on there so the sausage meat doesn't stick. Flatten your sausage meat into a round, add the egg and then use the cling film to roll it back up. Once the egg's fully covered in the sausage meat, we're going to dip it in our beaten egg and our breadcrumb mixture. Use one hand for the wet and one hand for the dry to save you making a mess. And repeat the process again if you want it extra crispy. You can use any cooking oil to deep fry it. I chose to use duck fat for that extra flavour. Get your oil up to about 180 degrees or until a cube of bread turns brown within about a minute. Cook them for six minutes until they turn a golden brown. So I was aiming for the egg to be fully cooked but the centre of the yolk to be nice and gooey and that is exactly what I got. Rigade. I ate that warm scotch egg with salad and new potatoes and it was delicious. For the other two, I thought I'd go somewhere a little bit wilder. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And there we are, look you. What better place to enjoy a homemade wild garlic scotch egg than by the sea. I've got the wigwam, I'm out on a wild camp and I've got this delightful, you can smell the wild garlic in there. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> mm. Perfectly garlicky. The egg is ever so slightly soft in the middle. It's perfect. I did put this uh, put this recipe on Instagram and a few people were saying that seven minutes was too long. It's like six and a half, seven minutes, depending on the size of your egg, but it's not too long. I'm not making um, soft boiled eggs, I'm making a scotch egg. So I want all the outside and the white and everything to be tough. And then the yolk just to be sort of unctuous is the right word. Mm. Mm. Stunning, man. Oh. <laughs> I made three of these. Thankfully. I had one at home when they were crispy and brought the other two out with me to enjoy. I'm gonna get myself a sunset. And I'm out on a wild camp, look. <laughs> so worth a try. Get yourself out, slack handful of wild garlic, and knock yourself up a scotch egg, 
if you want to tag me in it on Instagram or just send me a picture of it that would be cool I'd like to have a look at what you're up to stick a, bit, stick a bit of black pudding in it grate a bit of cheese in it do whatever you want but uh, just use wild garlic as the herb beautiful way to use it right thanks for watching take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon bye for now